which I appreciate. I wanna, I pretty much wanna give a shout out to everybody, man. Uh, Wild Bills, Big Suns, Dave's, Chopping Blades, My Green Lawn. Uh, it's a couple more, you know, Miss J's, like every, everybody, you know, been showing so much support. Showing a lot of love, you know what I'm saying. And, you know, I just want to give my appreciation to y'all. You know, I really appreciate y'all. You always give me positive feedback. You know, this this pretty much just a, a short little you know, prequel to something I'm thinking about doing in the future anyway. To acknowledge people, to acknowledge. You know, Acknowledge other channels, especially that, that show such such support. But I truly, truly appreciate it. You know, because this, like I said before, this is a new channel. Um, only been doing this this channel for maybe about three months now. And, uh, I've been in the lawn care game for about 13 years. I took a little break when I moved out to Texas for about like five years. And I've been back doing it for the past six, six and a half, something like that. Uh, just recently, in the past two years, year and a half, I got extremely serious about it. I got a newfound passion for it uh, out of nowhere. And uh, I'm just out here loving it because I finally got to a place in my business where I'm comfortable. I'm comfortable with telling people no. About stuff that I know I can't do, or stuff that I, I mean, I might even question whether I can pull off or not, you know. And uh, I feel real good. Like I say, I'm comfortable with the way I'm running my company. Uh, I'm not taking on too much. I'm practicing route density, which is saving me some money. Uh, I'm having a ball out here cutting grass. Doing all of the little services that I have to go along with lawn maintenance, but I'm having a blast out here, and uh, I'm blessed, truly blessed, to be out here doing something like this, supporting my family and taking care of my business like I'm supposed to be taking care of my business without having to go out there and you know be looking for a job and struggling in that sense. And uh, you know, it's it's a little bit of freedom when you a solo operator uh, I learned a little bit more by watching the videos and I and I would recommend to anybody just starting up to watching YouTube videos just to get an idea of what's going on in the industry because they help a lot okay because I was in, I've been in the industry like I say for at least 13 years and um, just by watching these videos I, it's, it's made me better it's made it's made me a better uh, Landscaper has made me a better businessman in general. So, and that's that. You know, it's, uh, I'm kind of in between my jobs. I'm going to an in between jobs. That's crazy. And I'm going from one job, coming from one job to another. And I figured out, you know. I just kick it with y'all for a second, you know how I how I like to kick it. So it's crazy because you know, like I said, I started off doing this on foot in this very neighborhood, riding around, you know, I mean, walking around, and uh, I'm still out here. 13 years later, I'm, I'm out here riding around in my tray with, with in my truck with my trailer. You know, a lot of the landscapers that work in the area, I know them. Matter of fact, I just stopped and talked to one over here on the, uh, off the corner, kicked it with him or whatever. But my advice to anybody doing this is you gotta make it, you gotta make it work for you. Make this thing as easy as possible uh, for you, for you and your company. Uh, don't go outside your boundaries. If you if you got a certain area that you service, stick to that area. I don't care if you only got 15, 20 customers in that area. You want 100, stay in that area. Because eventually you're going to get those numbers up. Because eventually you're going to get those numbers up in that area. 
And then you're going to wish that you would told them people, no, 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 no. Stick, stick to your guns. If it's something that's too much for you, don't do it. Don't, don't do it just because a person, you know, they got the money or something. You know, and they put the money in your face, and that's, that's what it is. No, don't do it. With trailers, everybody out there with trailers, do you have issues with parking? Do you have issues with parking? Because I have issues with parking sometimes on, on smaller streets. And uh, I find myself going in circles sometimes, trying to figure out how I'm going to go about parking in front of somebody's house or in front of their neighbor's house or just anywhere so I can get the job done. How, ma how many of y'all really had issues with that? I mean, I know some of y'all got uh, commercial properties where it's not an issue and then some uh, you, you have uh, ramp racks and you, know, you might not even have a trailer so it might not be an issue but the, but the cats that's out there, the guys that's out there riding around doing a solo thing, maybe even the crew, but got a trailer. You having issues with, uh, with parking? It's just something I'm, I'm personally curious about because I, I always had issues with it. So. All in all, make this thing work for you. Don't stress about nothing no customers got to say to you because you, you're, not a fit, you're not a good fit for everybody. And everybody's not a good fit for your company. So if you, if you can't get along with a customer, then hey man, it, it's nothing personal. You know, don't you don't take it they can take it personal all they want. You don't take it personal. This is business, it's your business. You know. Love it. Love going out here and cutting these yards and getting in these yards and doing what you do. But don't take none of that the, the business aspect personal, right? Don't take that stuff personal because because you shouldn't. You got to keep moving. You got to keep progressing. And if you stay stuck on certain situations, then you can't. You can't. You can't move forward. You know. So, but I just want to, you know, clear my mind a little bit. So, until the next time. Peace.